Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. Um, doing the 6th mission. That's it. Right, everything's in the dark. Uh, if you ever take your goggles off, everything's dark. So put your goggles on and put your C4 away in case you set one down by accident. You don't want to waste it. Um, your radar doesn't work, but consolation prize is that the cameras don't work either. Doors and lasers um, still work, so you have to rely on your wits a bit more because um, because the uh, radar doesn't work. You can walk on the conveyor belts, but you can't get off them at the side. You have to get all the way to the end of them before you can get off them. The lifts also don't work, but luckily there's those ladders that we saw earlier, so we use those to get back up to the conveyor belt. We want the machine in the conveyor belt floor that we couldn't get through, the one with the white uh, with the white light on it. That's the one we want. And for this one. Remember that you can't see I mean you can't see the radar. Um, but the enemies can still see you for some reason. They must have thermal goggles as well. Yeah, because the only machine we couldn't get through was the one with white on it. But now we can get through it. So the lift doesn't work, so we have to go to the ladder. It's over here. Get your card out. As soon as the light flashes, put your goggles back on. Whoops. Go over here and open this door. That's it. Put your goggles back on. Oh. Okay, lift doesn't work again. Enemy over there at the top still. I think. Yeah, there he is. But don't worry about him. Okay, you can't use your radar, so you don't know where that guard on the right is. So don't go to the right until he goes past. He eventually comes down here. Yeah, none of the machines work anymore in the uh, conveyor belt area, so you can just crawl through them. Which is why we can just crawl through the one that was white. We couldn't get through before because we didn't have a white box. Right, that was that area. Okay, put your card out. Go in here. This is the gas area. But um, because this area is so short and because it's dark, don't put your gas mask on. Just climb up the ladder now. You can hold your breath. Right. So now we can have a look at this area again. Crawl through these places. Okay. This was the uh, blue at the bottom and yellow on the left one. So just to prove that it does go back to the start. There we go. It goes all the way down here and back to the start. So we'll go the yellow way. Left here is yellow, right is blue, but because we don't want to go back to the basement, I'll take it this way. Um, yeah, yellow is up, and red is to the right, and I said it went back down to here again, and there it is, goes back down to there. So you want to take the yellow way up. You can't see any, any of the colours. So that's, um, that's why I showed you that area bef uh, from before. Because... Um, Oh, a phone call. Yeah, that's why I showed the area before with the white machine, machine with the white light on it, because you can't see it in this level, so that's the one you wanted. It's a good idea to to know that's the one, because you can't see the colours when you get to this level, you don't know which one you need. When I first did this, I didn't know which one I needed. It took me a while to find which one I needed, because I couldn't see the colours. Snake, I've got Jimmy. Everything alright? Is Jimmy okay? Yes, he's not injured or anything. He seems to have been keeping out of sight well. But... but what? This kid's a real pain in the butt. Did you say something? No, nothing. Liar, I heard you. You're the one who's a pain. Telling me what to do all the time. Who do you think you are, my mum? I wouldn't want to be your mum, even if someone paid me to do it. <laughs> Excuse me? Nothing. Look, I'm in the middle of a conversation. Do you mind shutting up? Sh 
shut up yourself. You've got a real attitude problem, you know that? It's just going to make things more difficult for you as a woman in the military. <laughs> Muzzle it. You shut up when I tell you to shut up. Sorry, Snake. Glad to hear you two are getting along. Ha. Huh. I never thought I'd be babysitting again. Especially under fire. But I guess it's like riding a bike. That's what I'm counting on. Okay, so just knocked him out. Go up here. Knock this one out. Anything up here that I missed? No. Go in here then. There were those rounds that I missed. Over there. Yeah, there were five, seven rounds. Don't need them. Let's go in here. Alright, so this is to the place with the machine that was white. So right is red, and um, down is was, uh, was white. So this is uncharted territory. Okay, new area. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, several places to go around here. Go left first down here because there's something nice. A few lasers to get past though. Don't set them off. I think uh, I don't know if if um, gas comes, but uh, I think something nasty comes. Uh, it's not going away. That one's not going either. It's much easier to see the, uh, the lasers with the old thermals on. Okay, two doors. Okay, 5-7 ammo, don't need that. There's something nice below. Night visions. Unlike in the PlayStation version, putting the night visions on, they just make everything look normal again. They don't make everything look green, which really surprised me when I first played this all those years ago. But of course, we can't see the lasers when we have the night visions on, so keep your thermals on for now. Oh, that's annoying, that one's not going away, is it? Go back the way we came. Don't be tempted, just in case. It's not worth it, just for a few extra seconds. That's it. Okay, so back up here. Um, put your night visions on. So as you just cannot see anything because of the radar, you can't see it what's ahead of you. Right. Yeah, there's a guard. That's the way back down there. Another machine. Um. Yeah, don't go there yet. That takes us where we want to go, I think. Um, that one there, the red one, that takes us to the, um basement again. You don't want that one. You do not want that one. But first of all, I just want to see what's over here. Wait for, wait for this guard to go past. It's really annoying having no radar. Don't 
don't knock him out. Hide in here just in case. There's no one else. Yeah, ration. Woohoo! Alright, can we go in here? No, we can't go in there. Oh, that was close. Oh, <laughs> horrible. Right, so nice little ration. That's nice. It's where we went before. It's where the thermal goggles place leaves us, I think. Something like that. Right, so red leads back up to the basement, so don't go there. You, you don't know that, but I know that's where it goes. You want this one, the blue way. You want to go down this hole, I think. Yeah. This is where you want to go. Okay, it's a new area. And this is where we were just before with the ration. So, it takes us over there. There's a guard. He's sleeping. So let's carefully go past him. Put the card on. That's it. And then... Where are we now? Welcome to the darkness, Solid Snake. Who's there? I see you've put your night sights on. If you don't have the night vision goggles, you put on the thermals, I think. I can see you fine without, depending on those toys. My night vision is as good as an owl's. The face of my prey in the dark, overcome with terror and pain. No machine should contaminate a moment of such exquisite pleasure. Are you one of this black chamber group? Of course. I am called Marionette Owl. My flair for nocturnal combat has no equal, even among the black chamber. The party is about to begin, but you won't be making it. You'll die here in the darkness. Let me introduce you to my partners. This is Osan and Kohal. I've no time for you or your dolls. A doll is an approximation of the human form, and a good doll is endowed with a soul. Getting weird now. What nice lines your clavicles have, Snake. Not a bad heft to your femurs, either. <laughs> when you're dead, Kohal will have those. That's a little bit sick. Time to die! Okay. Um, you I, If you don't have the night visions or the thermals on, it's dark. If you keep the night visions on, he puts a flash out and it sort of renders you temporarily blinded, everything goes white and you can't see. If you put the thermals on, he and his dolls, yes it is a he, <laughs> he and his dolls look practically invisible with the thermals, so you don't know which one you're hitting. Hitting his dolls doesn't do any damage to him whatsoever, so you have to hit him. The best way to do it is either, is either to get lucky and just use the thermals and get and hope you hit him or every so often put the thermals on just to s just really quickly just so you can see which one's him then put the thermals back on and then when you forget which one he is put the night sights back on if you know what I mean um, the best weapon to use is the R5 assault rifle of course if you run out of that then use the uh, 5.7 you can use any weapon on you can punch him as well but he fires a lot and it's quite tricky I'm just going to use the codec to uh, to call um, call various people Weasel because there's always something that Weasel has to say about them. Marionette Owl. I know the name. Not fun company to have in the dark. He's a master of the silent kill. Out in Eastern Europe, I hear he took out an entire company by himself in a nighttime ambush. Is that it? What else do you say? He manipulates dolls in the darkness and uses them as bait. If you attack one of these marionettes, they'll return the courtesy with internalised automatic defence 
mechanisms. Try to target just Owl himself and stay away from the dolls. Yeah, if you hit the dolls, they uh, they shoot out at you. Difficult to dodge. Now let's see what McBride says. You're a Foxhound Commando, aren't you? You should be able to deal with anyone, whether he's a night combat expert or not. <coughs> you must complete your mission objectives. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Snake, that's the guy. He's the one who locked me up in that room. He was muttering weird stuff like, You're lucky to be a man. If you were a woman, I may have had to kill you. What kind of... I'm glad it was you and not me. I'm sure you would have been okay, Chris. He probably meant good-looking women. <laughs> hmm. Just don't give in, Snake. <laughs> what a cheeky swine. What does Campbell say? Snake, you're dealing with an expert of nighttime combat. Even you won't stand a chance in the dark unless you put on your night vision or thermal goggles. Right then. Okay, put your thermals on because he does that. Get your R5 out or your 5.7, whatever. Right, which one is he? On the right. Missed him. Missed him again. That's the one. Keep an eye on the old health, of course. Let's see which one he is. Top one. Wrong one. Right, let's use a ration. Right, it's the middle one. That's it. Right, which one is it? Yeah, you have to do this because he does that flashing thing that blinds you unless you use the thermal goggles. That is the top one. That one. If he stops moving. Right, which one is he? Bit of a pain in this have to keep changing back and forth. Right, is that that one? Ah, missed him. That's the one. Doing quite well. You don't want to shoot the dolls because they shoot out a lot of things. Oh, it's that one. Ah, I've lost him. One on the right. Missed him. Need a ration. Got him. That's the one. Alright, which one is he this time? Left one. Left one again. Running out of ammo. Which one is he? That one. That's the end of that. That's how you do it. Had a fair bit of health left as well. Two rations, 9.42, and good. Not bad. 
just have to do it like that because if you just shoot blindly, you'll run out of a you'll run out of ammo, and when you shoot the uh, the marionettes, they just uh, yeah, uh, they shoot out lots of firepower, and you, you can't afford to waste your ammo, and you can't afford to, to to dodge the extra firepower. So that's the best way to do it. It's a bit of a pain to keep changing from the thermals to the night visions, but it's just the way it is. Snake, do you know what madness tastes like? When I was twelve, Laura was murdered by some madman, a psycho and I was the one who found her scattered all over the field Laura's white hands, thighs, dark entrails that image was burned into the, the back of my eyes even now in my sleep every night in that moment something snapped inside me taken over by a strange compulsion and soon I found myself called a serial killer too I love those women, I really did. That's why I had to kill them. <laughs> there was nothing else to be done. Can you understand that? Like hell I can. I thought not, but Viper was different. Viper took me in when I was cornered by the FBI. He forgave me my sins. Black Chamber gave me a way to hate the mad hunger in my mind. I became the perfect assassin. But two years ago, you cowards betrayed us and laced my madness with lust for vengeance. There will be no absolution for you. For what? <laughs> Viper, he lost his left arm in that hell but he won't use his prosthetics, not usually. Do you know why? No. Because every time he looks at the stump, he can remember his lost comrades and vow vengeance on Anonymous all over again. Anonymous? Ha ha ha. His madness surpasses even my own, and that's why I can believe it. My sight is fading. No more dreams of that field. Ah, Laura. Over here. I'm... No, no, please. You can't. Looks like the gates of heaven are closed to you. Yeah, that was the room we saw earlier. Yeah, in the last mission. Snake, hurry, Metal Gear is in the launch phase. I ran a satellite check. Metal Gear is already above ground. Metal Gear is to the north. Just keep going north. There's no time left. Go! Right. Yeah, that's why you don't want to muck around with uh, that boss and killing enemies with your guns, because you run out of ammo. See, I haven't, I haven't found any ammo for the R5 apart from the ammo that was in it when I found it. Alright, I'll just see what uh, Weasel says about the R5 and then I'll save it. That rifle's an R5, a licensed South African version of the Israeli Galil assault rifle. The prototype for those is the AK-47 Kalashnikov. The same systems as the AK-47 are used in its design, that is, it's gas-operated and has a turn bolt. A very reliable and sturdy piece of equipment. Alright, let's save it. Need anything? Save completed. Ever heard of this? Dr. Copplethorne says, oh, not this again. Mailing your... never mind me. Tell me about yourself. Me? Like why you're back in combat. I had heard that you'd given up the military. Did the Colonel tell you that? Uh-huh. And other things, too. Like what? Like the bandana underwear and barbecued, bug, uh, barbecued bugs and... That stuff, too? 
that blabbermouth. So, why did you come back? I had something to finish and decided to stop running away, that's all. And after that, after, when it's finished, what are you going to do? I haven't thought about it. As long as the score is settled, that's all I care about. Right, so that ends uh, this part. Um, see you for this mission, number seven, in the next video. Bye-bye.